love the opportunity to teach students about American constitutional law, uh, to engage them on great issues of the day, uh, to push them, to provoke them, uh, not just again with what I think, but trying to encourage them to decide really what do they think, what's in the best interest of, of the nation. Personally, how do you uh, view the giving of your life and your line of work to the cause of uh, justice and equality mm -hmm. uh, and fairness? The fight is different today. Mm -hmm. um, and I try to use my energy and my talent uh, to expand the number of lawyers who are interested in and dedicated to social justice. Mm -hmm. be impossible for me to do what I do here uh, had the university not changed. Uh, the university um, had a formal and informal policy of simply saying that African Americans, notwithstanding talent, ambition, interest, uh, could not be on the faculty here, could not be students here. My task, my challenge is to try to open up the place further, mm. is to not just knock down the, the, the official walls, but even the unofficial walls. It's to, uh, to teach and to uh, share my own sense uh, that we are stronger when we value all people. I've not uh, been arrested. I've not been beaten. Um, you know, my, my, my home has never been bombed. Uh, so I want to be clear. Um, I, I work hard, uh, but in a very different way than Dr. King did and, and others, especially at that time, did. Uh, in fact, I think of myself as standing on the shoulders of Dr. King and Reverend Young and Abernathy and others, uh, C.T. Vivian. Uh, people throughout Alabama, throughout the South, who said that they were going to lay their lives on the line so that African Americans coming after them, like me, uh, would not have to lay down their lives. Dr. King is a role model for uh, anyone seeking uh, uh, an example of someone who developed his voice, uh, who shared his voice, and he was perhaps the greatest orator of the 20th century, uh, but a prolific writer. Uh, his sermons uh, are still shared today. Uh, so his legacy will live uh, probably as long as humans live. I think Dr. King, Dr. King was, I think, a, a humanist. He loved people. Um, I think he valued people uh, not because of what they had, uh, uh, who they were, uh, their celebrity, but, but rather because they were people. For a world as rich as ours to have not figured out how to provide basic human uh, conditions uh, to people across the globe is, is a travesty. Uh, and it, it's... Uh, it undercuts uh, all of us to have the sort of extreme poverty, uh, violence, human trafficking that we have in, in the world. Uh, so uh, I think if Dr. King were alive today, uh, as was true uh, toward the end of his life, he had an international vision. Mm -hmm. He thought of all of us as connected as humans, uh, and he opposed uh, exploitation, and poverty and violence across the globe.